Oh my gosh, I overslept and I didn't realize that my phone was on the edge of dying. It's still on the edge of dying. But so my alarm didn't go off for me to get to my microderm abrasion. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm late. So I like panicked, just hurried up and tried to change my clothes. And I uh, called and I was like, I'm so sorry. Are you still able to take me? And she's like, oh yeah, I know you live close. If you, if you just get here. And I'm like, okay, I'll be right there. And so I made sure to tip nicely. Um, to make up for it at least a little bit, I hope. But I got microderm abrasion done and um, an electric thing, an electric add-on. I'll have to look up the exact name of it or, and I'll put it over here. But yeah, uh, the electric thing felt really weird. It really did feel like just getting shocked over and over. Like little tiny shocks. Um, so it was, it's kind of like if you ever had one of those, um, if you ever got shocked by TV static, it kind of felt like that, just all over my face. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very good. So my phone was charging, um, but I went for a walk with my friend. It's really nice out. And I was like, oh, maybe we'll get frozen yogurt, but it's just going, it's not quite two o'clock yet. And the place isn't open until 30. My town's really weird. Like, we have another shop that closes at 2.30 on Saturday. We have places that don't open until noon. There are some places that close at noon on Saturday. The banks are only open from 9 to noon. I don't know if that's uncommon, but... Um, that's just how it is. And we shut down. There's a lot of stuff that's closed on the weekends. And almost everything is closed on. Except for Walmart and a couple grocery stores and the gas stations and fast food restaurants. Um, every other shop, town, store, company is closed on Sunday. Um, and so it kind of puts us in a little bit of a pickle. But I decided I wasn't going to worry about the pickle. I was going to eat a chocolate rose. Fallon, you work out a lot, and then you eat a lot of chocolate and sugar. I work out a lot so I can eat chocolate and sugar. And yes, I am still wearing my pajama shirt. I'm not ashamed, and I'm not sorry. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Tell me what you're doing. Because I find myself in this. I want to do stuff. I want to embrace my weekend and enjoy life and be productive. I also have no energy and motivation. Usually by the time Friday night comes. Especially after having a rough Friday that I did. I just feel so mentally exhausted anymore. It's this job. I feel like I'm burning out. <sighs> But hey, we're not in production next week. Um, we still have an order to finish, but we don't have the lineal or like we have the material to finish. We don't have the other finishing material to actually make the finished product. Not not enough anyway. There's like very little left. Because people who don't do their jobs, who are at their desks... They can get things wrong and have things go wrong all the time and they have a secret job. We get written up and get in trouble if we have too much scrap or stuff goes wrong. That's entirely not our fault. Like, it's not our fault the raw material companies are poopy. It's not our fault that the machine sensor doesn't work. It's not our fault um, if the power goes out and then it delays things. It just... Mm, is it bad to hope for, like, a massive corporate crash? I feel like everything's gonna collapse and all the people at the top are gonna crumble down. Is that wrong? I don't want people to get hurt. And I don't like when people lose their jobs, don't get me wrong. I don't like it when I lose my job, which has happened.
I don't know. Maybe I need therapy. Maybe I need to afford therapy. Maybe insurance needs to cover therapy. I'm out getting the fire ready. So there's the pit. And I have the wood over there. And yeah, I did change. So it's actually a little bit cool outside tonight. It's like 7 in the low 70s. So I got a little warmer something on. And it's from Unisonis. Ooh, remember that? 2020? We all try to forget 2020, don't we? Anyway, back to the fire of 2024. We got the fire's glow. We got the s'more supplies. We got more fire supplies. Let's try to see. We have the Andrew. Andrew, recognize your fans. He's not nearly as appreciative as he should be. But check out the moon. Oh. My. Peaches. Is that not amazing? Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so big and orange and gorgeous. Full moon arising. It's technically not going to be the full moon until midnight, but whatever. It's beautiful. So this is the fun part where I get to try to set up all my stuff to get cleansed in the moonlight. Um, because it's a full moon. So we want all of our stuff to get uh, cleansed. It's hard to see. Where's the light? But yeah, so I try to get all my stuff set up in front of the window. So it all gets full moon bathed and cleansed and powered got a lot of stuff okay so that is the end of Julog Saturday day 20 it's technically after midnight right now but I got my pajamas on and I brushed my teeth and washed my face my mother always immediately has to take a shower after a fire but uh, you want to know a secret? I don't know how much of a secret it is, um, but it's safe with you guys, right? <laughs> I really like the smell of post-fire. It's just so woodsy and the embers. I just, it smells good. I like those woodsy musk scents. They're really nice and appealing to me. Um, I want to get a cologne like that. I know that normally... The feminines don't go for colognes, but I really love wearing, like, men's scents. They smell good on me. I like the way they smell. And, yeah, don't get me wrong, I like some feminine scents. I really do, but I want to go for a manly scent. If I could get Mont Blanc in rollerball form, be good to go. But I will see you all tomorrow. Hope you get all your full moon stuff done. Um, and yeah, I will see you uh, for the next vlog of my relatively dull everyday life. <laughs> Alright, I love you all my humans. I hope that you get, you manifest and get what you want from your dreams. Just providing it's not hurting anybody else. We don't want anyone else to get hurt. We, we do kind of want to see certain people get karma, though, don't we? So, I hope that karma comes to you. Alright, bye-bye.